Yeah, I need a break. This is too close of a call. G34, let's get into the premiere. Yeet. Distance Evolution Alliance. All batteries open fire. We really had no shot, man. Like we got we got just enough capabilities to go like into space just to beat the ghouls, the replicators and things. But these guys? Almost now, keep pushing! I am pushing you! Oh! <sighs> She's beautiful. She? She. Are we chucking it out for origin though? Like, what are we doing? Wait, where, where are you going? I want to see. Can I hold her? She's my baby. I've, after all I've just been through, I want to hold her. She belongs to all who follow the path. What is it, Tobin? From one, all will learn. She is Orisai. Such is her purpose. She will be the beacon of light in the darkness to the warriors of the Ori. Here we go. She will lead us to glorious victory over any and all unbelievers. So this is really the Age of Origin, huh? This is the New Testament. And they're out. They're gone. They've, they've left. Is that a new intro? So if that, if what we just saw is gonna stick, oh Claudia Black, nice, sick. Do we? Does that just mean we go to Atlantis and try and rectify this? I don't know. Does Jack get involved? Like he just is. Guys, uh, let's let's do it, man. Let's do it. This is Lieutenant Colonel Carter. Come in, please. Flesh and blood. Me, please respond. I'm in a spacesuit drifting free, approximately two thousand. Off the front right position on the super gate. Sam? You warrior. I can't tell you how good it is to hear your voice. Yeah, you too. I saw the core lev explode. Okay, what do we do? Okay, Jackson? Ascended. Still on board. What happened to the Ori ships? They left here approximately four and a half hours ago. <sighs> this is Colonel Emerson aboard the Odyssey. Are you in range to beam me back aboard? I'm afraid that we haven't got beaming capability at this time. Vasir's working on it. Where were you? We got our sublight back online and then tracked the Ori safely from a distance using our long range sensors till they jumped into hyperspace about an hour ago. I hate to be self-centered here, especially given what's just happened, but... Not uh, much oxygen left. I've only got a couple of hours of life support left here. Request permission to come on board, sir. Permission granted. That docking bay is out of commission, Colonel. Got it. Screen. This is a tough spot to be in, man. Colonel Emerson. Teal'c is alive. It's good to see you're okay. You as well. This vessel has sustained substantial damage. We've been able to ring aboard a few survivors, but our life support's already overtaxed. Any chance you can take on a few people? What is going on? Oh my god. Also, it looks like Teal got a haircut in mid-battle. <laughs> How are the shields in hyperdrive coming? <laughs> Nothing like a fresh fade when you're fighting for your life. Anything? Colonel Mitchell has landed safely. Thank you. Their goal is not to kill us all, it's to convert us. It wishes to go forth and tell everybody about how they kicked our asses. That they did. Due to the damage, I am rewriting the control code from the beginning. And it would be going much faster were I not constantly interrupted. Any of the Korolev crew beam over before the ship was lost? A half dozen. Not Dr. Jackson. We located the data recorder and we're working on retrieving it. We've reestablished contact with the Lucene Alliance mothership, sir. They're asking to speak with you. I'm on my way. We've missed two scheduled check-ins. So there's no help. No, unfortunately, there's nothing they can do. Korolev and the Odyssey are our only two ships in the galaxy. This is a bad situation. Right. Stretching ourselves real thin here. Channel is open, sir. You will surrender your ship to our control immediately. Do you want me to take this one, sir? Go ahead. Look, we were all in this fight together, weren't we? This is not how allies are supposed to treat each other. 
Our sensors detect your shields at minimum. If you do not capitulate immediately, we will open fire. <laughs> he said we are going to shoot. The only other sh you dragged us into this battle knowing it would deplete our forces. I suspect intentionally. That's not true. See, why don't you tell us your situation? Maybe we can work something out. The situation is, you will surrender or be destroyed. What sort of ordnance do we have on board? Not much, and he's right about our shields. We're sitting ducks. Man, space... Everything about space battle just does not seem fun. Like, you gotta be extremely advanced. It's sort of middle ground where you've kind of got your, yourself going. You can fly around in subspace, hyperspace, whatever. It's not it, man. It really isn't. Keep her from me. No matter she's who or what she is, I'm her mother. She needs to be fed and cared for, doesn't well she? Cared for. Huh? Excuse me? Hello, mother. I don't know what you can see from your vantage point or what your sensors are picking up, but from out here, that mothership looks pretty badly damaged. They haven't fired yet. It's a bluff, brother. Take us out of weapons range. Let's see what they do. I oh, heard the children grow up quickly, but this is ridiculous. Ah. Oh. Feels much better. Thank you. You do not believe. I don't know what you mean. I will help you find the path. Hello, Dreadlord. Alright. Hello, Dreadlord. Alright. Great act. My man. You know, the battle did not go well. Wordy's four Ori ships came through the Chapaco. Super gay. They lay waste to all Chapico. that's in the path. And then we need to get at least one ship out to the scene of that battle, find out exactly what happened, and if there's anybody left who needs help. How's it going? We're just about to test this. What is that? It was supposed to be a sandwich. Yikes, yeah, I do not want to send soldiers. Sam, I'm sorry, we're not quite ready yet. Can you fix it in time? I am unsure of where the instability is occurring. Simple answer. I will have to go through the program code again. <laughs> we also like, like take into account that Cameron has sustained at least three severe concussions within this episode and a half. <laughs> From the night, the spaceship, probably falling and tossing uh, in the ship too. Marks, do you mind? What are we doing? Hang on, Sam, we're coming to get you. Oh, boy. I'm locked up, they won't let me out. This is your fault. Our only hope of defeating their followers is to unite our forces and work together. You have nothing to gain by torturing me. That. It's not you true. wrong. He's gonna enjoy this. Causing you a great deal of pain will make me feel better. If you hit me even at minimum velocity. I am not gonna hit you. Not on purpose. <laughs> That's a wicked shot. The artificial gravity will kick in. He'll fall from even 30 feet in this suit. Sam, stop worrying. Vasir is riding the controls manually. You're going too fast. This tub doesn't go any slower. Initializing 5% reverse thrust. All right, she's in. Lift the ship a little bit. Got her. Let's not break her knees. MVP cam. What a guy. What a guy. Look at that landing. Touchdown. Nice flying. Yeah, some days you get lucky. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I was gonna say no sweat, but there was definitely sweat involved. We downloaded the black box data from the core left. We know that six people got off using beaming technology before it went up. None of them was Jackson. The rings were also activated. You betcha. Oh, he hopped on their ship? What a guy, what a guy. Can't beat him, join him, eh, Daniel? Beam a new gun ball. How the general made it out? What about rings? I know they're using the matter stream might get through. 
How can we lock on? Just set a race to see how the nearest other set is worth a shot. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, just Daniel? Yo, these soldiers look nice. The boy who never dies, truly. The man's plot armor is so freaking thick. All we know is they cut through two of our 304s, an Asgard ship, and a fleet of Gaul motherships. They could be on their way here as we speak. That's terrifying. I'm like imagining being the general right now, just sitting there be like, we actually, it's not like we have like something in the tuck, you know, it's like, ah, ah, you know, we have nothing. This was it. Like, our, I honestly thought we were going to have to do some sort of grabbing the stone and sort of reverse what happened. That's why I was shocked when the ships had entered hyperspace because now we're just playing a long game for the rest of the season, I'd imagine. Um... Unless the big P gets involved, Atlantis, but they've got their own problems to deal with. So this is, yeah, let's see where this goes. It would take a minimum of three weeks for the ZPM to get here. And there's no guarantee the ancient weapons platform in Antarctica would be any more effective. As usual, the IOA is wasting their breath. I'm sorry, did I say that out loud? <laughs> I'm digging the design. Yeah, they snapped on this one. This is a quality mothership. It's, a it's actually a mothership too, because Val is here. That's a oh wow. Get you a view with an hyperspace, huh? Okay. <laughs> Living lavish. You need I not see be you. Afraid. Uh, she's a preteen now. Are you actually going to stop growing at some point? Because, well, <laughs> at this rate, you're going to have a very short life. I'm glad you worry for me. Are you feeling better? I am. I guess she doesn't operate You're in our space hungry. and time. You have questions. Do you have a name? They call me Orsai. Yeah. If I had a daughter, that I'd name her after my mother. She was a very strong woman. Her name was Adria. I like that. You think that by naming me, it will humanize me. Make me more like you. The Ori wove their knowledge into my genetic makeup. A at least, as much as my human brain could hold. Then, you're not actually one of them. I'm the closest I can be. In the form of flesh and blood. You are my mother. Exactly. And... As your mother, you will listen to me. There will be no leading of these ships and armies on a mass murdering crusade. Or else. <sighs> it was worth a try. I know why you believe what you do. But the ancients are the ones who have lied to you. Only the Ori share all they learn. The ancients have kept the basic truth of your existence from you. The Ori most certainly do send their followers. And the ancients are the ones sapping energy from humans in this galaxy to empower themselves. That is why all those who could not be made to see the true path must be destroyed, or all will be lost. Interesting. Are you saying this is a preemptive strike? It's self-defense? It matters not what you call it. Do you really believe that? Or are you just hoping I will? She's reading the teleprompter, Fran. In the end, only you can decide the fate of your own soul. You're not wrong on that one. The Lucian Alliance ship is hailing us again. Lower your shields and prepare to be boarded or you will be destroyed. Sam, we've got company. How's that hyperdrive coming? <laughs> not not well. good. The sensors indicate the motherships are powering weapons. Man, what are these close calls? Like... <laughs> story. What happened to you? What do you mean? Oh, I had a baby. 
Well, she started off all sweet and innocent to begin with, and now she's hell-bent on domination of the galaxy. Well, how old is she? A few hours. The Ori used me to sneak one of their own over the border. This child is their way of cheating the Ascended rulebook. Sort of an uber prior like the docile. Oh, but she's much worse than that. The priors are just pawns. Wait, 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 we're talking about baby here, right? Oh, she's been genetically altered. She'll be a fully grown figurehead in a day or so. This is bad. You're telling me Origin's about to become a lot more appealing to the males of this galaxy. Do you have any idea where we're going? <laughs> no. That's that funny. She, would, she wanted me to give her a name. And? Adria told her it was my mother's. Not. Stepmother, witch of a woman. There is a part of her that is just like any other kid that wants her mother's approval. So I'm hoping I can use that somehow. I mean, why else would she care what I think? Uh, there's only so long I can hide. Hide! Yeah. Hide! <coughs> Hi. See so you're up and around. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> what is he doing in there? I'm actually curious. Three more ships just emerged from hyperspace. They're flanking us. Receiving hail. On screen. Greetings. Brightag, greetings back at you. Heads up, the Lucian Alliance is getting ready to open fire on us. I have already demanded that they stand down. They're firing weapons. Oh. What the hell are they doing? Carter, now or never. I have a lock. Bridge, we have Teal. Are you okay? I have been better. I guess we've all had enough fighting for one day. They yeah. just didn't want us to be able to salvage the ship when they turned tail and ran. The Orisai is a truth seer. She is a child. Little girls always have issues with their mothers. Are you saying you do believe in the Ori? Why are you here? Double O Daniel. I'm called to duty. I was hoping I could save him. Warriors be warriors. I'm glad to see you alive. It is good to be alive, old friend. We just got some bad news. The Ori ships have been located over Chulak. Oh, now we're now this is personal. We're going home. You lack. We must not abandon them. Well, as soon as we get our hyperdrive back, we have to head to Earth for repairs. Someone's got to stick around and keep an eye on that super gate. Tails like, I don't got really time for an arm brace. We couldn't stop them. We cannot merely stand by while our brothers and sisters fall. Yeah, that's home turf, fam. There is still a chance that Daniel's alive on board one of those Ori ships. He may need our help. You really believe that? You don't know him like we do. Excuse me. Good luck. R Resilient is his middle name. With most of the warriors out there fighting Jafar, we might be able to get off this ship undetected. We have an opportunity here. Yes, I was thinking that, but we don't know what powers that child might have. What have you got? Nothing. Worth a try, then? Mm. You bring her back to Earth, have a day Maybe with Cassandra, maybe it'll get the job done. We have stone weapons like zap guns. I'll distract her while you sneak up and stun her. Getting the console to relinquish three Hatak was difficult enough. The crew, I had to assemble personally. Do we have any sort of battle strategy, or are we just planning on dropping out of hyperspace and getting our asses kicked again? The Korolev log indicated that they were attempting to use the rings to get a nuke through a fluctuation in the Ori ship's shields that was coinciding with the firing of their main weapon. We have explosives that should be effective. All right. As soon as we drop out of hyperspace, I'll start broadcasting on all radio channels. There you go. Now we got a plan. Are you all right? Why are you sitting here alone in the dark? The knowledge in my mind is growing as I am. It's a lot to take in. It makes my head ache. I can imagine. Are you interested in the planet you're conquering? Have you been here before? Once? What do you know of the Jafar? They are proud people. Confused about the ways to salvation. But in their hearts, believe they know ascension is the true goal of our existence. Then why are you slaughtering them? This is Lieutenant 
Sam, it's me, Daniel. We're in orbit, trying to blow up one of the Ori ships. Yeah, I'm on one of the ships that's landed on the planet. I'm gonna have to tell you the rest later, requesting radio silence. Good call. Dude, melting through these ships, I wouldn't even bother throwing them. We just lost one of our mother ships. If our plan doesn't work, this will be a very short battle. We are in range. Full send, get out of here. We didn't drop the ball, did we? Guys, we need a W. We just lost another mothership. Let's get Jackson on board and get the hell out of here. I'm sorry, Colonel Mitchell. That is not the plan. Ray Tech, what are you doing? I believe he intends to ram the enemy vessel. Yeah, I got that. Tilk, this is crazy, not the good kind of crazy, you know that. What would you have me do, Colonel Mitchell? Talk not to die? Him. I think you're making some kind of a statement. Man, it was your ship. We didn't have to come along. And maybe it is better die in battle. I don't know. I was never really hoping to find out. There's no point in dying when you're gonna lose anyway. Yep. Not when you have a choice. Yep. I'm with Cam on that one. They were conspiring against you. Yes, I know. Kill him. No! We want to talk to you. Move! I said kill him. No! What? Well, she'll just Mother. get healed. That's fine. You couldn't have waited until she'd finished healing me. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Leave me, grab her. Oh, yeah, like that's gonna happen. <sighs> Hallowed be the flames of the Ori! This is Emerson, come in. What's your status? Beam us on board. Enemy ships have detected our presence. You should have four beacons transmitted. I planted one on you earlier. Just in case. Wow. Nice. Good stuff, Cam. Uh, yeah, it would have been a pointless death. We really went through like a dozen motherships in this two-parter. Saved by the beam? <laughs> saved by the bell? More like saved by the beam. Yeah, I need a break. This is too close of a call. We went through like five battles, five scuffles, confrontations. Too many close calls. Now, I'm thinking I should have shot her when I had the chance. Daniel, you couldn't have killed a child. She's an ori in the body of a human. Isn't that cheating? Well, Orlin broke the rules by taking human form and telling us the truth about the aura. She'll be fully grown within a matter of days. See? Cheating. Yeah, I gotta admit the Ascended rulebook's getting a little hard to understand. There usually never are rules in a war. Unfortunately, right now, there is no war. In a war, you got two sides fighting. All we have is a lot of winning by the bad guys. This is not when good. We first opened the, gate. the gold had total domination over the galaxy. They had massive technological superiority over us. A lot of people didn't think we had a chance. But we had time, we had to my six breath. years, all right? There's a difference. I just think we need a new plan. We have 19 episodes, brother. What did you do? Damn good one. I'm loving these, like, uh, like ominous cliffhangers, you know? A damn good one with a close-up to your face. And that was my reaction video to Stargate SG-1 season number nine, episodes number 20, and season 10, episode number one, guys. I freaking loved this two-parter this was felt like a a cinematic stargate adventure here this was a culmination to, to all of our technological feats thus far everything that we've we've, we've mustered up gathered all of our teams uh, uh, uh across the galaxies comrades enemies coming together somewhat reluctantly to try and stop the ori and my goodness was episode 20 that, cle that that ender first i guess climactic space battle at the end of the premiere at the finale was just epic all hope was lost honestly I, I really appreciate the idea of having carter sort of just in a spacesuit so helpless right at the front lines uh i think that hammered in the idea of just how helpless we currently are in a situation As cam also said by the end of the, the premiere it's like we got to do something different because the game plan that we've been working with 
isn't working, right? Massive ships that just in size and capabilities completely body us. Seeing this, the, the new Russian ship just getting obliterated. All, a, a lot of the Russians died, damn it. Like a lot of them really um, in, in the show and in this episode. And their, sh their ships went down to just a catastrophic event. Easily top three worst that we've had in the show. Probably two of the worst have been in this in this in this, time, in, the, in this past season. But um, and with that being said, I'm just looking forward to how we're gonna decide to wrap up this origin arc. I thought that, like I said, we were gonna sort of pull things back and prevent the gates from coming, but they're really going full on now with this full uh, with this origin in our in our in our in our home base. Seems like we're gonna have some more ascension shenanigans going on. The playbook, I, I guess, any rules that we had have now have now been forfeited, and it's sort of. All hands on deck, do what you gotta do to survive. So some of my favorite moments this episode were actually on Kamala. I thought the character who played the, gov uh, the governor or whatever it may be, uh, very familiar actor, he did a really great job in, in presenting that sort of, I guess, science versus magic elements to that first half of, of that finale. I enjoyed his performance, his, his, uh, his, his delivery, his, not cadence, his... Um, his, his mannerisms. I thought he really portrayed that sort of a, a governor role well. Daniel's frustration throughout this two, these both these episodes was hilarious. A big shout out to Cameron for holding it down in both of these episodes to save the day, making some of those tough calls. Same with the original team here, Teal coming in clutch with the motherships. Just a, a, a real great ensemble episode, I think, between the original cast here, even some of the OGs like Braytac. And I'm looking forward to seeing how we're going to wrap up and move forward and pivot because now things just got a whole lot larger that this super gate is working it's functional uh they've got their ships coming whenever they need even if we get rid of these four they've got more to come it's definitely gonna get spicy guys but what did you think about the finale and the premiere i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below sg34 uh yeah that, that I, I don't know about y'all but that finale literally had me in tears. It was so epic. And for a premiere, I mean, nothing better than ending it off with, uh, you know, sort of small battle and a retreat because there's obviously going to be a bigger war to be had. So we've got this child who's aging. So it's 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 looking like it's going to be Jesus Ori versus all of us. So smack the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next set. We're going to be doing Atlantis. I believe we have a triple bubble coming up. So uh, I'll see you for that later this week, guys. Love you so much. Peace.